Thought it was two matches. I thought we put back to back matches where we where we played pretty well. First one Iowa on the road, and uh, well, actually both of them were on the road, weren't they? It, uh, I, but I, I thought our team played well. Uh, this week we've got two teams that are that are coming off some pretty big wins that are playing uh, awfully well. Rutgers on, on Friday and in Maryland on Sunday. Uh, it, it'll be nice to be able to string a few practices together uh, this week. It's it's been a while since we've been able to to do that. You know. Rutgers and Maryland have had to probably have culture shock since they entered the Big Ten, and they've struggled, especially Rutgers. Maryland's made a little progress, both coming off their maybe their biggest wins since they've been here. Watching their progression over the number of years, if, can you see how they're different than the teams you faced their first years here? And just yeah, the. Uh Let's go with Rutgers first, since we since we play them first. I mean, that's them beating uh, Minnesota. I mean, that's a that was a, that was a huge win. It uh, for them. I think uh, uh, the energy that they are playing with uh, the past couple years has been definitely different than what it was when they first got in the league. Uh, I think there is a there is a belief uh, on on the other side of the net. There is an optimism. There is a an energy that is different. Uh, that wasn't always the case when you'd go and, and play them. And um, and uh, it, you know there there there's no de they're absolutely trending in in an upward tra trajectory. The Maryland is uh, they, they've. I mean that's a that's been a good ball club for a while. It's a uh, it's it's hard to to move up in this league, uh, but I mean they've been they've knocked off about everybody at some point. You, you know uh, it, it's uh, I, I you know they've always been on that cusp of getting into the tournament, and and because of the depth of the league, uh, sometimes you. you uh, it's, they're one of those teams that are a lot better than what the record or placement is. And um, but again, that was a that was a huge match. Uh, again, beating beating Minnesota. I think that's the first time that, that they've beaten them. Um, you know, and at at Maryland can be a, a real a real sticky proposition going in there. I mean, as we know, they they knocked us off a couple of years ago. Um, and uh, it, it's it can be a hard place to play, but the way that they block and defend can really get inside your head. And uh, yeah, both teams are playing well. Uh, Kelly, I assume yesterday was probably an, an off day for your team, which you know, usually you play. You got a lot of sun, Sunday matches. I guess I'm just wondering if you can. What are your thoughts on the, the value of being able to have a give your players a, a Sunday or a weekend day off? Just in terms of helping them bounce back and, and get ready for you know weeks like you're going to have this week. Sunday offs are really nice because you're you're off from about everything. I mean, you can kind of get your life in order. You can kind of uh, you, you know study. You can sleep in, get outside, and enjoy enjoy the weather with with friends. Uh, it's uh, you know. Watch some NFL games, all kinds of stuff. But it, when when the days off from from sport are on a weekday or something, it's it's not really an off day, right? You, you're you're getting you're getting up to go to class. You're you're having to uh, all those things. We we haven't had a lot of Sundays off, so I'm sure the players really appreciated having that having that uh, uh, yesterday. Kelly, you guys have won 21 sets since. Mm -hmm. or 21 straight sets since going down 0-2 to Florida. Can you kind of talk about how pivotal pivotal of a moment that was, but also just how much of a role you guys are on right now? Yeah, the uh, the sets. You know, I I don't know if I really care that 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 that's a thing. Uh, but I get. But I guess on the other hand, as as coaches, what we're trying to do is you're trying to get your players not to just. All right, where is your opponent? And then try to play just a little bit above that. Uh, I think every coach is trying to, 
you know, every time that you go out, let's let's try to be as good as what we can possibly be. And um, um, you know, and and so there there's an element of yeah, I, I want our players to have a mindset of of dominating. Uh, I think that's the greatest respect that you can give to an opponent is to be ready to play. And, uh, and so we're we're trying to play good volleyball. We're trying to, as the match goes on, we're trying to play better as the match goes on. Um, you know, while being ready to play from the get go. Uh, but the, you know, uh, do we want to go and and win three zero? Yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's certainly something that that we would like to do. We don't ever talk about it. It's not here. Let's go in and let's win three zero or let's win three one or hey let's you know something like that. It's just let's go play really good volleyball and let's let's try to do that for longer periods of time than our opponents do. And uh, r- right now we're we're doing a pretty good job of s- stacking points on top of each other. Only six matches so far in Big Ten, but you're hitting 350 as a team, which it's pretty good. Yeah. Um, what do you attribute that to? Uh, it just seems like you're playing really clean and yeah. almost cleaner by the match. Yeah. I think our hitting error percentage this weekend was like about eight percent. You know, it's uh, I think on the season or uh, Big Ten, it's it's under ten percent. It's really low. I mean, that's that's got to be by far the lowest of any of my teams. Uh, you, you, usually, uh, usually teams are around that thirteen percent error. So we're we're not giving away. We're not hitting the. We're not hitting balls into blocks. We're not hitting them out of bounds. Uh, our our error percentage is really low. Right now, I'd say this past week is probably about as well as our team is. Any of my teams have served the ball the, over the past week. I thought we served the ball really, really well uh, uh, the past couple matches. But the hitting percentage part of it is is our kill percentage. But a really big part of it is we're just we're not airing ourselves. It's uh, we're we're putting the ball in good areas. If it we don't have a kill, um, we're living to see another day. But uh, our our setters are are doing an exceptional job. Kelly, when you're rolling like this on that the uh, the set uh, streak, sorry, totally lost my train yeah. of thought there. Um, what's your players' attitudes like in practice? Are they aware of it? Are they kind of chill about it? What's their attitude throughout this year? And how is it different from other um, mindsets of your team in years past? Um, I think what I think every coach in every sport, when you get in the gym, you're just trying to get better. And uh, one of the things, believe it or not, that you you have to kind of be cognizant of is uh, are, are my players confident enough? You know, because it's easy to get in the film session and get in the practice gym and think, man, are we good at anything? Because we keep attacking the things that we're that we've got to get better at. And uh, so the idea of overconfidence, um, it, I'd be just really surprised about that. It's just not how we approach improving, getting better, responding, you know, it's all that, you know, Hey, we, we didn't do a very good job of on their outside hitter that just teed off on us and went, had 24 kills. You know, this is why that we've got to be better at the block. We've got to be better shaping uh, the defense in the backcourt. And, and, and then it's all right. We've we got to focus on the block. We've got to do better job of of, of reading in in the backcourt. And you get in the gym and you lock in on that because we just saw in film that we weren't very good at it. And so, I think um, you, you know when you hear things about what what our hitting percentage is or hey we haven't lost a set in a while. I, I'd just be you know I think Caroline was being interviewed the other day after our match uh, with with uh, John Arias and. Uh, uh, happy birthday, John, by the way. It's a, um, uh, you know, and she was asked about not losing a, a, a set in a, in a while. And she said, I had no idea. I mean, it's just, it, it's, uh, which I guess is what you want your, your player to be thinking. It's just, it's, it's not something we talk about. It's just, uh, you, you know, it just, let, let's, let's get better, which I think is probably a healthy way of going about it.